Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in to another video on your questions on the Daytona Shooting Break homage. The first question is by Andy Nifels. He says, I love your work, but you probably already noticed that. Um, yeah, I do, because uh, you comment a lot, which is great. Uh, thanks for uh, being so uh, open with your questions and, 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 and getting into the conversation. That's, that's always great. Uh, he says, personally, I prefer videos about 15 minutes. Take us to the complete design process from the beginning until delivery of the car. Uh, well, we'll do that through our social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook as well. Um, so that's a weekly update on the car. And, uh, and of course, the other projects we work on, for instance, with Heritage Customs, the, the Land Rover Defenders we work on. Um, but uh, like you've done on the Brad Van Hommage, uh, but many more videos and in more detail, uh, learn us everything on the design process. During these videos, obviously the design evolution of the car as a whole will be highlighted, but also certain details will often come back. The design decisions on the headlights, the butterfly windows, the rear lights, surfaces, facets, and many more. Uh, once the complete car is finished, it would be great to see a series of compilation videos each time highlighting one detail through the complete design process from sketch to final result. Well, that's a very interesting one. Um, we'll take that forward, hopefully. It depends a bit on time and, and, uh, and many other things. Uh, but um, um, we'll try to do that when the car is finished, which is not yet the case. Uh, so uh, we'll have to be very patient and, uh, and wait a bit with that. Uh, but up until then, I can uh, take you through some of the sketches, of course, and um, uh, explain some of the stuff uh, we did. Um, he, for instance, asked uh, what evolution did the bespoke headlights go through uh, during sketch phase, uh, clay modeling, and the final result. I also would like to see video on the craftsmanship, sketching, clay modeling, bodywork, interior work, making the bespoke headlights, butterfly windows, and much more. Well, it's a very long question, uh, but let's just uh, go through the, the sketches as we see them here, uh, because it gives a, a nice overview of what we've done. Uh, actually, the fender on this car around the shut line of the door, so the, the front end of the door and the rear end of the fender is unchanged uh, compared to the OEM solution, but actually uh, that will be changed in the final car as well. So uh, quite, a, quite a lot of changes actually on this car. And if we go through the different sketches here, what you see, if you look at the graphics, for instance, of the windows, is really this search to um, uh, a way of, of uh, grasping the base vehicle, uh, of which we use the entire door section and the glass, uh, and how we can integrate that into a car that um, has a very different roof line uh, and very different side view, of course. Um, and, and if I flick through these sketches here, up until here, uh, you, you can see how um, this experiment between uh, the different sections, for instance. Uh, so uh, look at uh, the window of the door that's staying exactly the same, but you see the highlight on the roof is changing. So the way the, the, the roof is flowing is that a sharp point. In this case, it's a facet coming from the A-pillar all the way towards the back into that spoiler. Uh, and in the next, you can see it's a sharper line uh, originating basically at the window and then coming upwards, uh, making the new roof line and opening up towards the rear uh, where you have this uh, new interpretation of that glass window that goes very deep down into the bodywork with facets on it as well. So it's, it's, it's chopped basically. It's, it's a, a square window with uh, the top two corners chopped off and the rear two corners, the bottom two corners uh, being chopped off. And that is a team that you can see coming uh, through the side windows as well, these butterfly windows. Um, and you can see it, it, it's a bit more angular, it's a bit more harsh. Um, and, and it's just one of many ways of experimenting with these graphics. Like how far can we push the design team of the Daytona shooting break from the 70s, from 72? Um, how, how much should we or could we modernize it? Uh, how far is too far? Uh, personally, I don't think that this uh, solution is per se the best, uh, but it shows the, the breadth of possibilities we can go through. Um, here again, uh, similar, uh, you can see the, the, the kick up in the, the bottom of the rear window that leads up to the shoulder line. So like I said, we're continuously looking for graphics, 
to connect side to front, uh, side to rear, side to top, top to rear, etc, etc, etc. So a consistent piece of design doesn't have, uh, like an old Volvo perhaps, uh, a front, a side, a top and a rear. It's one continuous sculpture, just like a, a human being doesn't have a, a actual front, an actual side. Uh, th there's a, a transition between front and side in, in the face, for instance, where, you know, you're in, in sort of nobody's land. There's a uh, because it's sculpture, it doesn't have these hard, uh, flat surfaces, but it has uh, volumes. Um, so, so through these sketches, we're experimenting with how we can tie together the graphics, so outlines of things, air vents, wheels, uh, glass area, um, diffuser, um, surfacing, the skin of the car, like that kick up of that window that is recessed in the back and that kick up that goes into the fender then flows into the door that flows into the front fender so this continuous shape um, and and it's this this marriage of all these different things uh, in, in a way it's like an orchestra right so it, it's not just the violins and it's not just um, the tambourine and it's not just you know uh, it's everything together that makes um, that makes the piece work or or not work um, so you can see another iteration here with a very bold uh, triangular B pillar. So the element behind the, the door um, doesn't work that well, but sometimes you need to do these things to see, okay, we have to do something with uh, a graphic behind that window to make it look a bit more uh, like, a, like a completed design, if you like, in this case, a bit more uh, pleasant to the eye. Uh, unless you change that second window, that butterfly window we make, and make it flow with the exact shape of the door. Because uh, here you can see a, a selection of different things happen. We have this very rich highlight in a facet that opens up towards the rear, so the glass actually has true, uh, three different uh, elements, you could say, visually. So, of course, one piece of glass, but three different surface changes. Um, but the, the B pillar is this strong shape that goes into the shot line of the door and follows the original window. From side view, again, you can see these different uh, iterations, these different changes to the, to the rear end and what a little kick up does, for instance, behind uh, the, the first window. Uh, you can see the flow of lines while we're experimenting with uh, taking something into the wheel so you uh, emphasize its rear wheel driven setup. Um, you can see how we change the, the flow of um, the lines of the glass. Uh, this is that uh, design that we just spoke about, which opens up with the three facets in the glass. So it's truly this experiment um, in all the, the, the different elements of the car. Uh, and I think uh, surfacing and graphics at this time is, uh, is interesting to answer the question that Andy had for us. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, let me know in uh, the comments below and uh, please keep them coming. It's uh, really enjoyable to read through all of them and uh, a selection of them will definitely make it into the next video. Cheers and let us know by hitting the bell if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.